All right, today we are looking at tritone substitutions. Uh, so, oh no, there we go. Tri meaning three, tone as in a semitone or a tone, so three tones. Substitution like change. So we're going to change the harmony by three tones, essentially is what that's trying to say. Let's do it. Okay, so we're going to start off by just doing a normal 2-5-1, which is a fairly common progression in most music, uh, but particularly we're talking about jazz where it's used most often. It's used in a lot of other music, but mainly jazz. So the second would be of C major, then the fifth, then the first. Uh, so this would be D minor 7, G7, C major seven uh, and then we might separate that out a little bit into some better voice leading so we might put the bass note down here so like this and then we might just have third and seventh oh might, let's undo that I can't <laughs> even better then Okay, so that would be a, a better way of thinking about it. Now what I've done there is I've put in the third and seventh on each of the chords. Um, and that's important uh, for what we're going to do next. So we'll go to the next screen. So here we go. So I'm going to write the same thing out. So we're going to go D minor. Can we see that? Yeah something rather and then C major uh, okay now the fun thing about a tritone substitution is that this is currently the third and the seventh of G7 however if you move the bass note by three tones, so three tones away from G, um, it becomes the seventh and the third, so the other way around. So three tones away from uh, G is actually D flat, uh, and so this makes a chord of D flat seven. So this chord here, we have done a tritone substitution uh, so uh, maybe Duke Ellington probably started it in jazz uh, and then Dizzy Gillespie Charlie Parker really went nuts and so in bebop it became a huge thing to put tritone substitutions in and then it sort of went a bit crazy from there so usually if you see this chromatic uh, progression going down from the second then to the flattened second I guess to the tonic uh, that's a tritone substitution. Uh, so let's look at a bit more, ex a bit harder one. <coughs> so if I did a three six two five one in F major, so I'm going to go A minor, D seven, G minor seven, to C seven to F major. Squeeze it in underneath my face. Um, <coughs> I could do a tritone substitution on each of these here, these two. So then the whole progression would become A, A flat, G, G flat, F. You can kind of see why people like it because it it changes um, the harmony quite a lot. I guess what well, sounds quite different, so it's a really common thing to do. It can make um, those chords sound a lot more tense. Uh, and you don't really change the quality of it because it was a dominant seven chord and, and it would be another dominant seven chord. However, <coughs> in further into jazz, they went nuts uh, and you can actually start changing the quality of that. So you might have started with this um, progression at the top here, like this. Um, but there's no real reason you, um, you can't change the quality if it's appropriate for the song. So um, <coughs> let's say we had a melody over here that's on an E. So you might go, oh yeah, E would work for A minor seven. Um, 
and then let's say the melody went to C here. Well, you could put any chord you like there that fits. So you might go A flat major seven. Um, then you might have a B flat here. So this is G minor seven. Then you might have another B flat. So you might go G flat major seven. Uh, and then you finish on an A. So you've got F major seven. Uh, so you might get some really complex sort of tritone substitutions that look a bit like this. Uh, and if you're a piano player, then you're expected to do this on the fly or improvise this sometimes. So this might be called back cycling or something like that. So that is tritone substitutions. See ya.